G'day guys, I'm Tintam here. Today in this Octane Render tutorial we'll be learning how to make and set up a material macro. What material macros are is pretty much your own pre-made pre material and you can import them into Octane Render. So let's first start off by importing our mesh. I'll once again use a service scattering test object which is Susanna. We won't, learn, we won't worry about the uh, atmosphere or render kernel since it's mostly uh, material based. So just get a good view. Now, to make your own material macro, you got to right click, add materials and material macro. You then join your material macro to your object that you want to create a material with. You then double click on the macro and you then open to a new panel in the graph editor. Now you'll see a node already in place. You are going to have to merge all of your materials and generators and parameters onto this so then it can then be exported to this one. So let's just quickly make a uh, material. Um, I'm just gonna, it's gonna be very basic for tutorial sake. might copy the one I did from my last one if I can remember it because it was mostly improvisation obviously bump up the diffuse absorption Okay, so now, now that we've made a material, how do we save this material? How can we import this back? All of our pretty nodes here, which makes it look very complicated and pro. How do I save it? Well, if you go back to your unnamed, to your first, uh, to your first box panel, with your material macro. So if you double click into it, you'll click into that one. Go back to it. You right click, save node, and this material box shows up. Now you can either save it as a material or you can save it into a live PD database. Now bear in mind, if you're going to save it into a live database, all image textures has to be of your own taking. You have to, it has to be your own or there will be copyright issues and Terence will get a lot of hate mail. So you go browse, save it where you want to. I'm just going to save it in the desktop, call it test2, save, uh, test2, you can add a description, blah 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 and uh, there are your credentials. Press OK. Alright, so now right click delete node and then node import and go to test 2 or whatever you called it. Link it up and there you go. And you can double click into it and there it is again. Everything saved. So that's how you import um, a material macro. I hope you like this tutorial, and um, hopefully you use my you use my three material tutorials to your advantage. Thank you and goodbye.